Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a quick at how heat exchangers can be used to heat swimming pools. Heat exchangers are pretty simple. They use hot water from the home's heating system and run it through coils on the inside of the heat exchanger. They then run cold water from the pool around those coils, heat is exchanged, and then that warmed water goes back into the pool. We use a separate hot water circulator pump, which was installed by a plumber. We then pump hot water, or which is circulated through that pump, out to the heat exchanger through PEX tubing. Be sure to use uh, the largest diameter PEX possible. In this case, uh, we had three quarter threads on the top and bottom of our heat exchanger, and we used three quarter inch PEX. For this particular application, you can see that the PEX was used to bring uh, the hot water out to the heat exchanger and then the return line back into the burner. We have a valve after that um, circulator pump so that we can shut off the system in the winter when we have to drain it. And you can follow that PEX as it goes through the floor, outside, uh, through the external wall, and out to the filter. Our entire system was hooked up to a switch. This switch turns on not only the circulator pump, but also the burner. In this case, we have to be sure to always turn off that burner before we turn off the, the pool's filter. And this way, none of the PVC would ever melt. Basically, hot water runs into the heat exchanger through the bottom, and then the return line comes out the top. Cold water from the pool is hooked up uh, after the filtration system, or in this case, it's actually after the chlorinator, and gets tapped in just with PVC fittings into the upper right-hand uh, side of that heat exchanger. And then the warm water goes back into the pool. Be sure to hook up a valve at the bottom of that heat exchanger so you can drain it during the winter to prevent uh, damage from freezing. After the entire system was hooked up, it actually heated up our little pool about two degrees in only one hour. So it was a pretty efficient system. Please check us out on the web at www.diyeasycrafts.com. Be sure to check out our how-to videos and please subscribe to this YouTube channel.